tonight, let's talk about something called The Matrix. You know, that 90s movie with the sunglasses and trench coats that everyone still references like it's some kind of holy grail of knowledge. Fun fact, the average adult spends eight hours a day glued to some kind of screen. So just let that sink in. That's half of your waking life letting Netflix, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, hey, shape your mind. But here's where it gets exciting. It gets interesting. What if the Matrix isn't just sci fi nostalgia? What if it's a sneak peek into a more sinister agenda designed to manipulate your reality? I know it sounds crazy. It sounds like you're listening to a conspiracy theorist right now, but let's dig a little deeper. Could it be that you're not living in a real world at all, or are we all just a part of the grandest illusion of control? Something tells me they don't don't want us to ask this question. All that and more right here on the Pretty Fox University podcast. Welcome to Pretty Fox University, where men and women of value are inspired by God, beauty, wisdom, and empowerment. I'm your dean, founder, and host, Crystal J. Get free and exclusive content by joining the tribe. But first, you gotta give this video a thumbs up. Next, subscribe to this channel and hit that bell notification to be informed each time a hot new topic drops. Last but not least, check out the description box for more info on how you can donate to the channel. Grab one of those three journals available down below and tune in every Every Monday for the hottest topics no one else wants to discuss. XOXO Crystal J. All right, welcome back everyone. Before we dive in, a quick reminder, if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. I really appreciate it. Share this episode with someone who might still be plugged into the matrix. You'll you'll know what I mean by the end of this episode. And if you're feeling extra generous, consider donating to support the channel. Every bit helps us keep bringing the truth to light. Now let's talk on the matrix. Sure, it's a movie with some cool special effects, but it's so much more than that. Think of it as a metaphor for modern society, the perfect illusion where everything seems normal, but behind the scenes, oh, it's a whole different story. What if I told you that the very systems we rely on, media, culture, even technology, might be part of a greater agenda? And no, not just political manipulation or corporate greed, but something darker, something more demonic. Trust me, it, this isn't your average conspiracy theory. Stay with me as we peel back the layers because what's really going on might just blow your mind. Now, let's get real for a second. How many of you feel like you're trapped in a system that's constantly trying to control what you think, say, and do? And I'm not talking about the Matrix movie anymore. I'm talking about real life. Every day, more people wake up feeling like their thoughts aren't even their own anymore. Why? Because we're all plugged into this massive web of media, technology, and culture that's subtly or not so subtly pulling the strings. Think about it. From the moment you wake up, you're bombarded with news telling you what to believe, social media algorithms curating what you see, and a culture that's quick to cancel anyone who dares to think differently. It's like we're all walking around in this perfectly orchestrated system that seems like freedom, but in reality, it's more like mental slavery, basically. The signs of manipulation are everywhere. Let's start with media control. Have you ever noticed how the headlines all sound the same no matter where you go? You go on YouTube to listen to the news and the headlines are the same. They're basically saying the same thing, even though that's a different channel. There's a reason for that. It's called narrative control, and it's designed to keep you thinking inside the box. Then we've got social pressure. If you're not comfortable, 
conforming to the acceptable opinions of the day. You're labeled as misinformed, extreme, a conspiracy theorist, or worse, you're seen as a threat. And don't even get me started on tech companies tracking your every move online, feeding you exactly what they want you to see so you stay hooked, distracted, and ultimately under their control. It's all manipulation, folks. You've been plugged in without even knowing it. The question is, how much longer are you going to let this system, this matrix, control your mind, control your mind and your actions? It's time to start paying attention to these signs because once you see them, you can't unsee them, okay? Let's take a trip down memory lane, the Matrix trilogy. And yes, I'm throwing in the Fort movie too. Now, at first glance, you're probably thinking, just a sci-fi classic with some cool action scenes and cute Keanu Reeves looking intense in slow motion, but nope, it's all deeper than that. The entire series is a metaphor for the world we're living in today, both physically and spiritually. And trust me, it's not just Hollywood fiction. A lot of times I tell people, if you want to know where the world is headed and what their plans are, just, just check the movies, check the major television shows that are doing really well, all right? But buckle up because we're about to dissect this in a way that might just change how you see everything. Let's talk about Neo, the reluctant savior. I'll call him the reluctant savior. Remember how the Matrix starts? Neo, played by Keanu Reeves, is just an ordinary guy, a computer hacker by night, totally clueless about the fact that his entire reality is a lie. It sounds familiar, right? He's like any of us, a living life, going through the motions, following the rules we've been fed since birth. We're told to trust the media, follow the trends, and definitely not question authority. But when Neo takes the red pill, that iconic moment, it's like a spiritual awakening. His eyes are opened and he realizes that the world he's been living in is nothing more than an illusion. In the real world, this is like waking up to the reality that everything you thought was normal is actually a carefully crafted lie designed to control your mind and your actions. It's like Neo represents anyone who dares to step outside the mainstream narrative. And isn't that the point of the red pill to see things for what they really are? In Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14, we're reminded, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. Just like Neo had to wake up to the truth spiritually, we are called to wake up from the lies the enemy has been feeding us. Once you take that red pill, once you accept the truth of God's word, you can never unsee the manipulation around you. Then there's Morpheus. I'll call him the guide who knows the, the truth. Enter Morpheus, the mentor, the one who gives Neo the choice. He's the guy who's already been awakened and he's trying to lead others to the truth. Think about it. Morpheus represents those people in real life who are trying to show us the truth. Whether it's the whistleblowers, the pastors, or even your conspiracy theorist friend who maybe isn't so crazy after all. In the Bible, Morpheus's role is reflected by figures like John the Baptist, who came before Christ to prepare the way. In Matthew chapter 3, verse 3, it says, For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. Morpheus is that voice in the wilderness, or Offering Neo and by extension us a way out of the matrix, a way to the truth. Then there's Agent Smith. I'll call him the perfect villain. Now let's talk about Agent Smith, the guy who's basically the devil in a suit. Throughout the series, Smith is the constant thorn 
in Neo's side, try, trying to keep him and the rest of humanity trapped in the matrix. Now, I'm not saying every corporate executive or media mogul is literally Satan, but let's be honest, Agent Smith represents the systems in place that are designed to keep you in line, whether it's the media corrupt governments or big tech, their job is to make sure you never ask too many questions. And that sounds familiar. I, I can tell you. In the spiritual realm, Agent Smith is a clear parallel to Satan, who is described in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and 4 as the God of this world, who blinds the minds of unbelievers to keep them from seeing the truth. Smith's mission is to stop Neo from breaking free, just as Satan's mission is to stop you and I from breaking free from sin and the lies of the world. Now, let's get into a real life example. Look at how media manipulates information, whether it's political bias or straight up propaganda. The goal is to control the narrative. Remember when platforms like Twitter and Facebook started censoring content that didn't fit their agenda. Suddenly, free speech wasn't so free anymore. It's like we're all living in the matrix, being fed only the information, the powers that B want us to consume. Just like Agent Smith, these systems will attack anyone who dares to question the status quo. Then there is the architect. That is who I call the puppet master. By the time we get to the matrix reloaded, we meet the architect, the mastermind behind the entire matrix. He's the one who built the system, who controls it from behind the scene. In the real world, the architect represents the people in power who create the systems that control us, whether it's politicians, tech billionaires, cults, or global elites. They're the ones pulling the strings, keeping people distracted with entertainment, consumerism, and endless distractions so no one notices the bigger picture. Now, spiritually, the architect represents the forces of darkness, the demonic realm that's been manipulating humanity since the beginning. In Ephesians chapter 6 and 12, it says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. The architect is like those spiritual wickedness in high places, working in the shadows, creating systems designed to keep humanity enslaved to sin, materialism, and false belief. Then there is the matrix, which to me represents the ultimate deception. The matrix itself is the ultimate illusion, the fake world built to keep people in line. And let's be real, this is a perfect metaphor for modern society. Look around you. People are glued to their cell phones, living in social media bubbles, distracted by the latest Netflix series or TikTok trends. It's all designed to keep you busy so you don't stop and think about what's really happening behind the scenes. Take a look at contemporary events, whether it's the rise of artificial intelligence or the way social me media algorithms manipulate manipulate what you see. These systems aren't just about convenience. They're about control. Think back to the Cambridge Analytica scandal where personal data was harvested to manipulate voting behavior. That's a real life example of how the matrix works, feeding you the illusion of choice when in reality, your decisions are being influenced without you even realizing it. Then there is the character Zion, which represents the resistance. Finally, we have Zion, the human, the last human city representing the people who have broken free from the matrix. These are the ones who see the truth and they're fighting back. In our world, Zion is like the community of believers, those who have chosen to follow God and reject the lies of the world. In John chapter 17, verse 16, Jesus says, they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Zion is that 
not of the world mentality, a group of people who refuse to be plugged into the system any longer. It's about standing for truth in a world of deception. I want to talk to you about like real life parallels and the call to wake up because I believe this is really important. What does this all mean for us today? It means we're living in a matrix of our own, whether it's the constant barrage of propaganda from the media, the distractions of social media, or never ending consumerism that keeps us chasing after the next thing. It's all a part of a system designed to keep you from seeing the truth. But here's the thing, just like Neo, you have a choice. Will you continue to live in the illusion or will you wake up to the reality of what's really going on? In Romans chapter 12, verse two, Paul's te Paul tells us, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So it's time for us to unplug, to wake up and see the world for what it truly is. Because once you see the matrix for what it is, there's no going back. Welcome to Pretty Fox University, where men and women of value are inspired by God, beauty, wisdom, and empowerment. Introducing our latest innovation, the Pretty Fox Journals. Whether you're jotting down notes from our episodes or tackling our episode assignments, we've got you covered with three specialized journals tailored to your preferences. Ladies, meet the pink journal crafted with elegance and sophistication. Its feminine charm makes note-taking a delightful experience perfect for capturing your thoughts and ideas ideas in style. Gentlemen, say hello to the Teal Journal, designed with a touch of masculinity and class. Its sleek exterior and sturdy build ensure that your notes are kept safe and organized, empowering you to conquer every academic challenge with confidence. And for those of you who appreciate timeless elegance, we present the Gold Journal. With its luxurious design and universal appeal, it's the perfect companion for both men and women blending style with functionality seamlessly. Ready to elevate your note-taking game purchase your pretty fox journals through the link in the description box below welcome back truth seekers if you're still with me it means you've officially taken the red pill congratulations on waking up now before we dive in deeper into this rabbit hole let's make sure you're fully plugged into this conversation smash that like button drop a comment to let me know your thoughts so far and of course hit that subscribe button to stay ahead of the system oh and if you feel like tossing in a little fuel to keep this truth train running there's a handy dandy donate button for that down below, sharing this uh, episode is basically your way of passing out red pills to the world. Let's wake up some minds together, okay? We definitely want to wake up some minds together. Now, in the first segment, we talked about Neo, Morpheus, Agent Smith, and the whole matrix setup, unveiling the illusions and manipulations designed to keep us all plugged in. But here's where things get really interesting. Have you ever noticed how seemingly disconnected things are? The media, politics, technology, somehow all seem to work together like a perfect coded system. I, I guess that's the only way I could say, say it. Oh, we're, we're about to connect those dots. Um, so stick around because the next piece of this puzzle is about to blow your mind. Here's where it all comes together. You've got Neo waking up, Morpheus guiding him, Agent Smith trying to keep him in chains, and the architect pulling strings from behind the scenes. But here's the pivotal insight. They're not just random characters. They're metaphors for the system we deal with in every single day. The media, politics, tech companies, the elites, they all play their part in keeping us distracted, manipulated, and compliant. Doesn't that sound familiar? Think about it. Media feeds you a narrative. Politics keeps us divided and technology distracts us into submission. What is the goal here? The goal is to keep us plugged into the system, blind to the reality that we are being controlled. Social media scrolls become the new chains. Fake news are the new blindfold and digital addictions are the modern cage. In 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, we're warned, lest Satan 
should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices. But let's be real. Most of society is completely ignorant of these devices, to be honest with you. Whether it's mindless entertainment, biased news cycles, or algorithms that learn our behavior better than we know ourselves, we're being conditioned to accept this matrix without a second thought. But here's the kicker. These aren't just random power grabs. All these elements are part of a larger agenda to distract us from the truth, divide us against one another, and most importantly, to pull us away from God's plan for our lives. Because if you're so busy worrying about the latest trending topic or what celebrity said or did what, are you really focusing on your purpose? Are you really focusing on the calling of your life or the spiritual war being waged all around you and against you and your family. In real life, look no further than recent events, whether it's political chaos, the celebrity Hollywood uh, drama, tech censorship. Remember when information on major platforms started disappearing because it didn't fit the mar narrative? That's Agent Smith level control, okay? The connections are staring us in the face. The matrix is all around us. And the sooner we recognize it, the sooner we're going to be able to break free. Now, let's recap the main points of what we discussed today. Neo represents the everyday person living in ignorance until they wake up to the truth. That's you, me, and anyone who is trying to break free from the lies. Morpheus is the guide, the voice of reason that shows us the way like those speaking out against the mainstream narratives. Then there's Agent Smith. Well, he's the system, whether it's the elite, media, tech, or government working overtime to keep us trying trapped, distracted, and docile. The architect is the puppet master, the hidden powers controlling it all, creating systems that bind us spiritually and mentally. And finally, Zion, the last human city, which symbolizes those who have woken up, the believers, the people choosing truth over illusion. But remember, awareness is the first step. You can't break free from a system you don't even know you're trapped in. It's like what Hosea 4 and 6 says, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Knowledge is your key to freedom. So what now? What do you do? It's time to recognize that these forces aren't just fictional. They're real and they're influencing how you live, how you think, and who you become. The question is, will you stay plugged in or will you, like Neo, choose to break free and live in the truth? Now, listen, if you don't um, believe what I am saying because you haven't watched The Matrix, I would recommend watching them. Uh, do pray for protection of your mind, covering of your mind. But I would say watch them and then come back to this podcast and you will see that I have perfectly dissected this with God's insight, okay, on it. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you today with open hearts and minds seeking your truth in a world filled with deception. Lord, we acknowledge that we are in a battle not against flesh and blood, but against the spiritual forces of darkness that seek to ensnare us in the matrix of lies and manipulation. Lord God, as we reflect on the forces trying to control our thoughts, actions, and beliefs, we ask for your divine protection for ourselves, for our friends, for our families, for those who are innocent, those who are curious about following you, but they don't know how, those who truly follow you there, God, and those who are out there that are willing to follow, but they are unaware. Equip us with the full armor of God as ex explained in Ephesians 6 verses 10 to 18. May we wear the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, and the shoes of peace ready to share your gospel in a world that desperately needs it. Help us to take up the shield of faith, extinguishing all the fiery darts of the enemy, and wield the sword of the spirit, the word of God, to cut through the lies that bind us. Lord, reveal 
to us the hidden agendas at play in our lives and grant us discernment to recognize the distractions designed to lead us astray. Help us to stand firm in our faith and to seek knowledge and wisdom that comes from you and you alone. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. We truly believe this, their God. In the name of Jesus, we break every chain of manipulation and control that is being placed upon us. We declare freedom from the lies of the enemy, breaking the hold of media technology and any other force that seeks to divert our attention from you. We renounce any spirit of fear, confusion, or doubt, or any spiritual leadership, dear God, that has taken root in our hearts and in our lives. Father, we ask that you empower us to be beacons of your light in this dark world. Help us to boldly proclaim your truth and to share your love with those still entrapped in the matrix. May our lives reflect your glory and bring others to the knowledge of your saving grace. As we journey together, let us remain vigilant, standing strong against the schemes of the enemy. We trust in your promises, knowing that he who is in us is greater than he who is in the world. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer and for equipping us to fight this good fight. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. And we give you all the praise now and forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 We've unraveled some serious layers today, y'all. And if you've enjoyed this uh, deep dive into the matrix and the hidden agendas that affect our lives, I need you to take action. Hit that like button as if you, you know, were dealing with Agent Smith trying to trap you. Show him who's boss. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to drop a comment below. Let's keep this conversation going. What's your take on the real life parallels we've discussed? Your thoughts matter and they might just be the spark someone else needs to wake up. And if you want to stay plugged into this moment, um, this movement, smash that subscribe button, join our community of truth seekers and share this episode with your friends, family, or anyone who needs to break free from the lies. We're all about about spreading truth and empowerment here, okay? Oh, and if you feel moved to support this mission, there's a donation link awaiting just for you in the description box. Every little bit helps keep this troop train rolling, and I appreciate each and everyone who contributes. Now, before we wrap up, I just want to say a huge thank you for tuning in today. Your time is valuable, and I'm grateful to have you on this journey with me. Until next time, stay woke. Keep questioning and remember, the truth will set you free, but first, it might make you uncomfortable. So buckle up because we're just getting started on this channel. Catch you on the flip side. XOXO Crystal J.